G'day legends, I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, we are checking out Blue Cat's Axiom, which has just been updated. It's pretty much redesigned under the hood. They've gone and changed most of the amp modeling engines in there. There's new factory presets. There's new UI upgrades in here. There's more effects than ever. If you're not familiar with this plugin, I did a video with the first version a couple of years ago, and it's just kind of one of those great utility plugins where you can use it as an all-in-one kind of guitar amp processor with effects, or you can use it for a lot of other things in your DAW. I actually use it as a VST wrapper in Pro Tools because it's just incredibly handy on there. But most of the people watching this are gonna be interested in guitar tones. So I've got my PRS DGT into my Little Labs Red Eye DI. That's going to my Apollo interface and then straight into Pro Tools where I've got Axiom loaded up. Let's start out with this Dynaplex room preset. You can have two channels in here. So for every given preset, it's now essentially an entire rig. You've got pre-effects, you can have their built-in effects, which go from everything from kind of like stomp box style effects to some pretty wild stuff. You've got your amp modeling section in here. You've got your post effects and Probably my favorite aspect of this is you can use the built-in effects here or you can load up any other VST you own, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. But for now, this is the Dynaplex Room preset. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like at the stock settings. <laughs> stuff to this existing preset in here. If you visit the kind of amp block over here, you'll see that you've actually got a preamp, their destruction section, which is based on their destructor plugin. So that does all the non-linear distortion. And then you've got a post filter, which essentially is filling in for a cab block in here. And you've got so many presets in here. Like if you go select, you've got factory basics, you've got bass cabs arranged into different sizes and types, which I really like, factory guitar cabs, so much going on in here. Same thing with the destruction section, you know, if you look at the factory selections in there, you've got everything from kind of typical guitar amp style power amps to really, really weird stuff in here. You've got digital distortion, bit crushes, you've got tape style saturation. Like I said, this is way more than just a guitar processing plugin. This essentially is like a fully stocked DAW in one plugin in here. And uh, if you're running the standalone version of this, what's really cool is you don't have to open your DAW to actually record the output of it. You can just do that directly. So that's another really nice feature in here. So let's do this. Let's leave that. I'm going to bypass the post filter here. So the cab sim essentially is off. I'm going to move these blocks over. You just drag and drop and let's select from the built-in EQ and filters and IR loader. And one nice thing in here is you can save your own presets. So I've got my LTTV Mix 7 Cab IR, which you can download for free in the video description on there. Let's have a listen to this amp sim now with the IR that I am so used to. <laughs> Thank you. 
My IR is a lot brighter than that factory cab in there. So I just kind of tweaked the EQ on the amp there to taste. There is also this kind of extra section down here where you can map important parameters. So if you've got a really complicated preset in here with a lot of kind of virtual stomp boxes and VSTs, and you can see down here the wah speed, the amount of drive in the booster, the delay time, the number of repeats, you can map them down here as you like. So when you build a custom rig in here, you don't have to go surfing through all the extra elements in there, you just map them down here and tweak them as you go. So I've got an IR in there. Now let's add a VST to this. And this is probably my favorite aspect of this plugin. You, know, you can get rid of all this stuff and just use it as a VST wrapper. Let's replace this phase delay. I am going to load up one of my favorite delay plugins, which is Fab Filters Timeless. You can see in there I've got Timeless represented as a stomp box, and I can drag over the user interface for Timeless over here. This is just a lead sound that I dialed in. What I'm going to do is add that crunch boost up the front over there, and we'll hear what Timeless sounds like on this. Another feature that I mentioned earlier is that you can run parallel rigs in here. So you can see on here, I've got amp A with its own pre and post effects chain. If I click over here, I've got amp B with its own pre and post effects chain. Furthermore, there is a room reverb on the master section there, and I can apply effects before both of them in there. So basically you've got your kind of global pre-effects section, your global post-effects section over here. You can run parallel rigs over here, which I think is super cool. So let's just hear this. This is the California Dirt preset and the countryside on the other one. It's kind of a clean thing. So I've gone over to the tapped sound on this DGT. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a compressor in front of both rigs and then I'll add a maybe a delay or some tape style saturation after both of them. <laughs> Thank you.
mentioned it in the first video that I did with Axiom a few years ago, but the fact that Blue Cat Audio's Late Replies plugin is in there, it's one of the most powerful delay plugins on the market. There's so many great presets in there. It's so creative. And what I like is you've got this aspect of it where there are fundamental building blocks that you can still keep using in kind of like a nested fashion. So what I've got here is I've got a preset with late replies on the master section, but then within late replies, I can come in here and take a particular slot. For example, the effects that are on the left channel of the delays, I could load a VST onto those. I could load in some of the built-in delay and reverb or dynamics or modulation or distortion in there. So you can create these ridiculously complex presets if you like, or you can just kind of use it like a typical guitar rig with pre-effects and post-effects. So I don't think there's really anything else out there that gives you that much control in such a wild fashion. Another plugin that's included with Axiom is Blue Cat's Re-Guitar, which is their pickup simulator. It also simulates hollow body types in here. So basically just come up and say, what am I gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a humbucker and it will model the pickups in here. So I've got my bridge humbucker on the DGT and let's actually just bypass this for a second and then we'll hear it turn into a single coil, maybe a couple of different types in there, even these like in-between sounds and then I'll add some hollow body simulation. There's also an entire uh, piezo pickup section in here as well if you want to process your acoustic guitars. <laughs> that the pickup simulator not only cops the tone of different pickups in there, but it also adjusts for the gain. A full on humbucker style sound in a guitar like this versus a Strat style single coil isn't gonna have the same amount of output. And I like that that's simulated there. This has so much going on that it's really hard to kind of summarize it. It's basically just a really great utility tool if you like guitar noises. You can run it in standalone mode and use it as a virtual kind of dual amp guitar rig. You can load your VSTs up in there. You can use it as a VST wrapper. You can use it as a sound design tool. There's so much going on, like almost to its detriment, the fact that this can do so much, it's really easy to overlook some of the features in there. So if you wanna learn more about it, I'll link you to the Blue Cat website in the video description. Thank you to the team there for sending me out a license for this so that I can make this video. If you wanna learn more, support my channel, grab some free IRs, that's all linked in the video description. And I will play you all out with just a few of my favorite kind of crazy effects presets in here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.